today's episode. Moment uh, of truth. It's a Pele Wengai Wangha Wengi Umboya. Yes! Hey, you ma, some milli. It needs a little bit more. Warning! The following clip you're about to watch contains language, volume, sweat, and distortion. Not recommended for teenagers under the age of 16. Shredding is strongly advised. That's some good shit! Welcome to episode 3, where I plane down the sides of the body and then um, so that I can glue them together, number one. So here's another part that I need to firstly do the sides so that I can stack them on top of each other, like so. Um, I've planed it down, but my planing is not uh, it's not up to the game yet so um i am going to uh sand it flat with a um, 100 grid and then 220 um but i also don't have a um i don't have a straight edge that's straight so i'm going to use the thing that is, um, I would say, straight, and that is the neck. I'm going to use my neck blank that is technically straight as a straight edge. And then, once these puppies are glued up, I can then focus on the neck. But it might not be on this episode, it might be on a different one. You never know. And then to get back to you guys uh, about my laminated top that um, my laminated tops that went all wonk. Um, something arrived today that I'm actually quite fond about. A shit ton of it, by the way. And that is <laughs> two more veneer oak edging. That isn't pre-glued, by the way. It isn't pre-glued. So, I'm going to use this to put binding around the guitar to give the illusion that the top is thick. Get it? Thick top. Thick top's better. But, so, in that, in that sense, I'll use that binding because I can cut it to any size I want. Because this is... 32 millimeters? No, it's 40 millimeters, I think. 35 millimeters. So there. So I'm gonna put this aside for now because now that we know that the top, I can mull down to five more, you know, mull this down to five more. Um, I'm gonna keep this because it's got a wormy hole that I kind of want to keep in, you know? It makes it, it 
gives it a unique feel to it, meaning that it went through nature. It's been, it's been eaten. It's been, I don't know, but it's been through life. And this is what indicates that this guitar has been through a lot. Well, at least the wood. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is the step that I'm going to do. I'm going to level this or, or um, put this in my sled and then make this 5 mil. And then the binding will give the illusion that it's at least 10 mil or so. Mm, give or take. But it's something to, to see. We'll, we'll see how it works out because uh, I am thinking that that might be a great solution to my problem. But anyway, um, this will hide my mistake, I think, I hope. And the idea is to, to stain that black, uh, black oak, and then, um, yeah. But the other thing I want to show you guys is that also, because I'm in an industry of cupboard making, I have veneer samples. I know it's not big, all right, I know they're not long and dirty but what caught my eye is this kiat kiat veneer okay it was stitched poorly but at least i can still use the front but there you guys have an idea of the kiat veneer that i can use for the headstock to be quite fair with you guys i've got a shit ton of samples here i've got Cherry, French oak um, veneer. Uh, I don't know which camera will show it better, but maple. I've got all of this, bitches. I got like a shit ton of samples here that I can use. A pillar, pink birch, or even bamboo, guys. I've got bamboo, bamboo veneer. Um, oh, I got etimo, etimo. I've got wengai, wangha, wengi depending on how you pronounce it um, and I've got American walnuts and umboya so yeah future bolts here we go obviously use the masking tape and super glue trick and then put some 100 grid 100 grid um, sandpaper on my new found Nice. I can I can already see this guitar coming together nice. Can you see it? Because I certainly do. Woo! Right. By the way, how do you guys please comment down in the comment section? How do you guys keep your super glue tips clean? Because after like the 15th use of it, then this knob is like finished. It's like glued together, it broke, it like fused, and it is a pain now that I have to pour it out. Yeah, no, it's uh, kind of scary, but let's see if we can uh, maybe get this green thing off the lid. Yes! It's like... So what did you do today? I f fucking wrestled with the tip of it. <sighs> Clearly it won. Because I just broke. The tip. Oh shoot man. You mass a milli. Okay, so there it's glued on my straight edge, which is my neck. Um, proof that it's my neck. I am going to just put some lead 
on here. Okay. Let's see. It needs a little bit more. Very high here for some reason. Boy, before you drop down comments and shit and stuff, this is definitely not beer. Okay, it's water in a beer bottle. On to the next one. Wait, I must first check it before I can move on to the next one. I mean, this could work. I think this could work. Okay. That was a lot quicker and easier than I thought. Um, this would work. Mm. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna glue this up um, and I might even, now that I have it, Put some oak veneer in the middle. I mean, why not? Why fucking not? Anyway, it's time to glue up. So now that I've dry fitted everything, I hopefully will um, get to glue this thing up. And then hopefully we can get the body out ready prep and then um, yeah so let's glue this bad boy bitch up and then uh, see how far we get No, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, you massa Millie. <sighs> oh, 
Ah, wrong clamp. Okay, we can move this one there now. And put the right clamp on. Here we go. Oh, here, baby. Here we go. Yo, look at that. Just which look at that. That's glued up. And I think this using the the smaller one, the the narrower one and the thicker one together makes actually worked out pretty fine because my clamps can accommodate that. But I, I think yo this is going to look psych. I think, I hope. Anyway, let me just quickly clean up the squeeze out. I think what we need to do now, I am going to flatten that um, laminated tops and then hopefully then we can call it a day. Alright. I mean, you guys think five more? It's a little bit, it's a twisty, twisty, twisty. So that that's actually not bad it has twisted a bit but now the moment uh. of truth Five. Eh, eh, eh. Not bad for my first attempt.
Okay. Let's take this off. Okay, so well, I'm gonna book match now. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I think that's a wrap. We have now gotten ourselves the top. Um, we have, let me show you guys this. We have glued our body together. <laughs> our bodies together with that oak veneer edging in the middle. I still need to process it. Um, a little, a little bit. It was a little bit wonk in the clamps. I didn't focus too much when I clamped it up, so it's a little bit uneven at the moment. But we'll sort that out once we cross that bridge. This is what we have completed for episode three, and I will probably see you guys in a new venue on the next episode or in between. It will be in between. You never know. Alright guys. Cheers. Oh. Bye. Bye. Bye.